almost 2 a.m. here, and I can't sleep. And I got a project I'm about to be uploading here later, so I figured might as well fire up the Toshiba Tekra A9 laptop. I just plugged it in just moments ago. It is supposed to be running Windows Vista Basic, but it's not Windows Vista Basic. So we got power. Ah, the CMOS battery is low or dead. Hmm. That's pretty typical. Okay, let me uh, reset that real quick. Hold on. Oh, let's see. There we go. So it's April 18, 2021. Okay, the time is, we'll put that to 1. 57. So it does have a dead CMOS battery. I knew that was coming. Um, beeper volume. Yeah, so pretty much all this stuff's been reset. That's just wonderful. Fans are kind of sound a little fishy. What in the world? Hold on. Just there we go. Auto power on, you definitely don't want that on. Well, crap, just give me a minute, I'm sorry guys. Warm time disabled. Critical battery wake up. Huh. Okay, beeper volume. Turn that off so it won't bother wake up anybody. USB sleep and charge, we'll leave that off because why not? And... What's the button here? And save changes and exit. And why? Anyway, sorry about that, everyone. Let's see if this will be. Yeah, it's running Windows XP. It's supposed to be running Fista Basic. And this is this is this does have an SSD drive in it, by the way, so it's going to load a whole lot quicker than you think. Speakers are nice and amplified, too. <clears throat> I think that processor's been changed out of here, too. I'll explain why in just a moment. Now, I do have, I still have the um, HP Pavilion DV8000, or 800, I forgot what it was exactly. But I haven't been using that lately. Touchpad seems to be a little fishy. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give y'all a little disclaimer. These weren't originally my laptops, so this and the HP Pavilion DV800 or 8000. <clears throat> Again, I forgot which one exactly. Wait, does it have the thing where it where you? No, it okay. It's because I'm. <clears throat> it's not what I meant to do. I want to show y'all what the. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. So yeah, the uh, processor has been changed, apparently. It's supposed to be Intel Centrino. That's a Core 2 Duo, running at 2 point, a little over 2 gigahertz. 1 gig, almost, well, probably 1 gig of RAM, to be exact. This laptop was slapped dead, because I haven't used it in months. A few months ago, I did a um, did some update on the HP DV8000 or whatever. Let me see. There is a problem I've been noticing, but I gotta find my flash drive real quick and see if we can get portable update to work. Just a second. Okay, got the flash drive here. And it's connected to internet. It's running over Wi-Fi. So there is a USB port on the side here. Let's... Yeah, it works. There's two more on this side too, I believe. Let's go to, this touchpad is so sensitive, well, kind of, and uh, see if this works. I probably got to update it. If that's the case, I'm going to have to hook it up over Ethernet. 
but let's just see. Of course, it can only be updated. All right, uh, let me hook this. Well, it does have, you know, this does, this does have a, this is kind of rare. Tell me if this is rare or not. Just ignore the name, but you see that word says 5G? And man, I'll be, you know what? This, this does support 5G wireless. That's pretty rare. So I guess whatever, whoever my um, uncle is trusting, Trusting the guy he was just trusting must have did a good job on this laptop. I'm gonna try to update that over Wi Fi. Oh, yeah, same do so good, it's doing good so far. So I'll come back once this is done and hopefully, hopefully, this will work. So I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, it's just hitting a little over 30%, coming up to about 40%, but I'll just give you a quick look around. And as you can see, this is a universal charger because, yeah, it's a rocket, rocket fish. Rocket fish. I don't think that's right. It's rocket man, not rocket fish. Anyways, here's the front of it. it does have the wireless on and off switch, the radio control. Got your volume knob right there. Headphone jack, microphone. I don't know what that is. And you got all your lights down right here. Card reader. Yeah, it starts with the card re SD card reader light. Then the charging light, power light, battery, disc light, and the disc light. And you got uh, the Wi Fi light. This, this does. <clears throat> This does have Bluetooth on here as well, but unfortunately, since I reinstalled Windows, it hasn't worked, so I don't know what that's all about. And I, I really don't have a Windows Vista installation CD with me right now to reinstall it back to the, you know, the original OS. Of course, you got that. Two USB ports. The fan. Serial port. I gotta be I gotta be careful not trying not to throw a blue screen if that flash drive comes off. I've seen that happen before. You have your uh on the left side here you have your charging port, phone jack. I think the phone jack does not work on here neither. I tried that before. It has Ethernet and VGA port right there. Phone jack's not working neither, so Bluetooth and uh, phone jack's not working. I mean, I didn't use it for download purposes. I did it. There was a program I installed to where it receives calls. And some, uh, uh, what do you call it? I guess phone cards or whatever you call it. Dial-up modem cards will support caller ID. Apparently not. On, well, this one doesn't work completely. Uh, I installed the same program on... The HP Pavilion DV8000, that that rang, but no caller ID. The custom-built computer that my grandmother or Momo had rang, no caller ID. But, luckily, on that HP Pavilion A1213W, which is my childhood computer, caller ID went through. But, it, but I didn't make a video of it. I don't think I made, ever made a video of it. No, I don't think I did. Anywho, after all that talk, this is just about done here. It does have a CD drive. I forgot the mint. I don't know if I mentioned that. Also, it does have a... I guess that's a microchip or... Um, fingerprint sensor. Whatever that is. The, um... The, uh, function keys, unfortunately, don't work, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, the function keys are not working. I don't know if they were working before I reinstalled Windows. Probably not. It's another thing that's not working. I mean, there is one driver. And I mean one driver. It's like the, uh, I guess, the whole computer driver. But every time I try to install that, it throws a blue screen. And when I go to turn it back on, it throws a blue screen. 
over and over. And I gotta basically reinstall Windows all over again. That's why I'm not chancing on it. I bet you if I had that CPU driver or whatever it's called installed and function keys and whatnot would be working. Possibly the Bluetooth and the phone jack as well. Alright, this is just hitting 100%. It's probably still gonna install. I mean, this disc like barely lights up. Unless you're doing disc cleanup, of course, and it's solid. Because if, it, if this were Windows 10, it would have, this cleanup would have scanned like it never happened. Because it scans a lot quicker on Windows 10, but not on Windows XP, Vista 7, I think 8 and 8.1. They didn't scan as fast, but when it comes to Windows 10, then yeah. I doubt this is going to work because this has been giving me trouble. It's been throwing an error, which I'll explain here. In fact, while I'm at it, let's check and see if, because this YouTuber, great YouTuber, JK18 told me about this, um, making sure a service is started. What the heck was that? Okay. Is the bit service running? It is not. Let's let's just start that real quick. I thought I set that to manual, but apparently not. Bit service is on. But if this doesn't, if it, all else fails, if this portable update don't work, I mean, it doesn't need updating on here. It needs it on the HP Pavilion DV8000 or 800. Again, I forgot exactly, but. I'll, Try to put it in the description or in the video, whichever one. Um, yeah, so it did, it's all up to date on here, but not on the... Because I had to reinstall the... Um, I think I had to redo a, reinstall Windows XP again on the HP to Pavilion DV8000. I don't remember what for exactly. I think there was some something... I think something wasn't right. What it, oh, it's restarting. Portable update. Let's see, I bet you it's going to get the same issue that I've been dealing with before. Let's go to search. Psh, yep. <laughs> yeah, this, so this hasn't been working since. But I hooked it up to a Windows 10 computer, and it works just fine, so I don't understand. Oh, great. Now my flashlight's off on my phone because my battery's about to go dead. Well... That's a bust. I'll, I'll just reopen it one more time, but I gotta hurry up because my battery's about running low here. So now I can't use my I can't use my oop wrong program. I can't use my flash and fly it anymore on my phone. I just ignore all that extracurricular in the background. I'm gonna just pretend y'all didn't see, we didn't see that. Sounds like it's raining outside again. It's been raining like crazy. Yeah. So this is the error right here. But I don't, I mean, even JK18 said it was working fine for him. So I really don't understand at all. This is a pretty good laptop, but there are some issues, like I said. The um, Bluetooth doesn't work. The phone jack doesn't work. Function keys don't work. Again, it's probably because of one driver that apparently doesn't like when I install it, so. I'm not going to do a startup video of the HP Affiliate DV8000. We'll probably do that another time. Well, probably not. But now I'm going to get, get get to working on this project, video project now. Y'all see what I mean on the next video or whatever. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, comment down below what you think. I'm just pretty sure JK18 will do the same. And we'll see y'all next time. Peace.